A normal person will be able to braid their hair down. I don't know how to braid. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. So today we're doing a good old get ready with me. It's a little chaotic. It's not as like, uh, what's the word? Not productive. It's not as much of a production. It's just vibes, okay? So I had to do my hair today. I had to do my makeup. I had to do my nails. And what else? Oh, an outfit and perfume. Everything in one, okay? So I'm about to head out and have a great night. So um, again, don't forget to subscribe and keep watching. Hey guys, good morning. So I was going to start this video off all like aesthetic-y and like cute. But like join the chaos you know so i'm actually going out tonight for dinner and um i look crazy like i literally look a mess like why do i look like this so i'm about to do my hair but anyways let's get into today's sponsor curls queen sent over some bundles so girls queen sent over some bundles and i'm excited because y'all know i'm a quick we queen i have been like loving my quick weaves so um this seems like really extra like oh my god you're doing all that before you go out but listen once my hair is done i'm cool i can go back to my 15 to 30 minute get ready with me okay so they actually sent over two bundles we ain't seen two bundles in a while of like light yaki and you guys look how thick look how thick this is do you see how thick this is from the rudal to the to the <laughs> No, but seriously, it is so full, so I know this is going to be a good install. Like, bring full bundles back. Like, look at this. And I'm really excited because this is like a, a light yakky texture, which is going to mimic my relaxed hair. Um, I did wash my hair last night, and I had to put a rinse on it, check because the gray hairs were showing. So, yeah, I'm actually about to wash these, but I just want to make sure I showed you guys them first before I did anything. But this does mimic, like, my texture of relaxed hair, so I'm really excited. I was debating between a side part and a flip over, but I feel like for this length, I'm going to just do a flip over. It's going to be more, like, fun and flirty. Um, I really want to do a long side part. Like, I want the side part to give, like, like down here. So, I'm going to skip that. And I just had a side part, so. Okay, so... We're about to start this hair, okay? So I just blow dried my hair straight because I like fell asleep with it kind of damp. Are we seeing that my scalp is not white? It doesn't look dehydrated? Oh, take care of your scalp, ladies, okay? Or taking care of my natural hair so much differently and not because of my hair. If you know me, you know I don't care. Like, look at my hair. We know I don't care about my hair, but I do care about my scalp. Like, that's, it's a part of my skin. So, I've been focusing on that. But anyways, I'm parting out my hair for this quick weave. I'm about to see how much I actually want to leave out. But I decided to do the flip over because this is just a lot easier. I do have a detailed um, video on that. I will link it down below if you want a step-by-step -step and a reason as to why I'm doing every single thing. But um, I don't know what's going on with my middle section. Like, for me, I have to be a little bit more strategic on how much hair I leave out because you guys see my hair is short, okay? So I want enough to cover the tracks and enough that will flow into it, but that it just won't be like this. Okay, do you guys see my, like my scalp looks so healthy. Like this is how much hair I'm going to leave out in the front. It's actually more than I normally do, but I think it's just enough because like, I just don't want it to not be enough. A normal person will be able to braid their hair down. I don't know how to braid. And this is what I'm going to slick back. Again, I don't know how to braid, baby. So to actually slick back my hair, like, I used to do this step when my hair was wet, but it just took way longer to dry. So I make sure my hair is blow dried and then I add product and then all that's drying is the product. So if I want to use a blow dryer, it's actually drying. If I want to sit under the dryer, I don't have to be under the dryer all day. Um, it's gonna be a, a quick process. So, boom, 
This gel is gonna be your best friend. This is the As I Am Smoothing Gel. Best gel, hands down. It slicks your hair down. It doesn't have alcohol, it doesn't get hard, it doesn't get crunchy, it doesn't have buildup. And I'm clearly running out. Sometimes I think about leaving the back out, but I'm like, girl, you're not finna wear a ponytail, so it don't even matter. I couldn't find a rubber band, but I have a hair tie. And I just slicked it back. I actually thought I wasn't gonna have enough gel, believe it or not. I do too much sometimes. Um, but that was more than enough. Do braids, guys, don't be like me. Do braids. I'm gonna put my wig cap on, and I do two, and I try to stretch it so that it's nice and flat. And you guys see how it pushed that down? Yeah. For my quick weaves, I like to use the Protective Shield and the Even Spray, this combination. Your wig cap or your quick weave cap will not go anywhere. Yeah, try to like draw a line to help guide. I'm kind of liking like this like casual get ready with me. So I'm just gonna apply that all throughout the cap. So a lot of people always ask like, but what do I do about the glue on my hair? Well, this is protecting the glue from getting on your hair. This is a protective cap and I like to apply it on the cap. I don't like to apply this on my hair. Some people do both. Personally, I think the gel is enough of a layer. Um, and again, the more product you wear, the more product you layer on your hair, the more itchy your quick weave is gonna be, so. And also, cut the ears out, like put a little hole so that the cap can just lay flat as possible. And then I like to finish it off with the spray. And I'm just really gonna use this left in here. We're gonna cut this. Be careful when cutting your cap so that you're not cutting your hair. And I promise you, when you cut it, you're gonna feel like a release. And also cutting the cap off for the flip over is so much easier too. Like I'm so glad I decided to do this. Cap is on and seamless. I don't know what the back of my head looks like. Don't clock me. Oh, it's falling. But yeah, that's what it's giving. It's time to put in these bundles. I had them drying and they look the same. They're just nice and clean now. So again, this hair is from Curls Queen. I will leave all the information for this hair down below. And this is two bundles of 18 inch. If you guys know me and my quick weave methods, I like to use the same length and go in and cut it to my likings because the hair is naturally getting layered as you um, install it. Two bundles is equivalent to three to four bundles, which is enough to do a whole install. Like, look at this. Imagine having three, four bundles and it's still not being enough. Why are we buying five and six bundles? We're having to buy those bundles now because the bundles are this small. bundle and about two tracks from this second bundle and now I'm gonna start kind of closing it a little bit so I've been doing this like u-shape going all around and as you can see it is seamless well I started a little further back there but that's okay that's okay that's okay um this side is a little better it's like seamless so it looks like yeah just, you you get it the girls I get it get it so now instead of continuing the u part I'm going to go across and it's gonna be straight across. Well, maybe I'll do the U part one more time and then I'm gonna start laying the tracks going across until I get to a point where I want to, y'all will see, y'all will see. I'm over here jamming out and just laying tracks, but now, okay, like my cap's lifting up a little bit so you can't tell, but I have a little like rectangle. So I'm gonna start laying the tracks going this way and then going this way and then in the middle like y'all will see literally gonna be like tiny tracks and you want to stack them on top of each other i was getting nervous because i thought that i was running out of hair but baby let me tell you you're not <laughs> and then we're gonna get to styling so yeah so now the end is like the tricky part i know a lot of people get confused by this this is where like the flip over comes in and where you get to have that volume at the top is laying these tracks whichever way so you can go all one way 
you can go um, all that way, but I like to do both just so that I have a little versatility. So I just pack my tracks as much as possible. Okay, so you guys, I actually used all of the hair. This was the last track that I had. I thought I was showing you guys, but I didn't press play. And now I think I have too much leave out, but I'm gonna just make it work anyway. The hair is so full, like all the way down to the bottom. Love that. Y'all, so I'm about to take this wrapping foam and I'm going to just blend that back. And also with this technique, less heat. I'm gonna let that set before I start pulling and tugging and cutting. So I took a shower, I moisturized, squeaky clean. Um, I had ran out the house for a second and now we're back. So I really have like two hours. I wanna be done by eight. Whew. Um, so I have a little 30 minute window. And yeah, oh my God, I forgot to moisturize up there. But yeah, so this is how the hair looks. I'm about to run the flat iron through it real quick. All right, so that's done and the texture matches perfectly. I only did one pass because I'm probably gonna put heat in my hair during the stylist styling process. Don't have to cut the ends, like what the heck? Love that. great i love how it looks i'm actually going to put some rollers in the top so i have volume on top but i do like this more like blowout-esque type of look i didn't want like super tight curls like i just like body okay volume okay so the complicated part is over i'm gonna spray this with some hairspray while it sets i'm gonna aim for like a 20 to 30 minute beat I'm gonna do these brows. I've been into like a skinnier brow. And you guys, the Rare Beauty uh, brow gel is finally in Sephora. I stocked up. I even got some for my kit, which was really exciting. I just want my brows to be the same. But we can't have it all, right? I really like carving out my brows before actually filling them in. It just gives a different kind of look. I swear to you, my life would have been so much easier if I had just done my hair last night, but I just simply didn't feel like it. I don't know. I like doing my hair the day before because like the second day I could really like, okay, do I wanna cut more? Do I wanna misplace tracks? My hair actually gets to dry overnight. Like I feel like my hair, my tracks is on thin ice, but I'll fix that later. I'm gonna use the Milani brow pen, honestly, because it's in front of me. Um, I don't not like it, but it does this thing where it like, it starts dripping, like it bubbles up and it starts dripping. So that's why I prefer the NYX one. But this pen is, okay, now give me a good example. This pen is just as good, but they need to fix that packaging. And I just do little hair strokes. And if you do decide to use a pencil with the Rare Beauty uh, gel, make sure that it's dry before you go in or it's just gonna turn into like a waxy mess. We're gonna move on. I'm gonna be using the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum. I really liked it. Well, it's a glow serum primer, but I like her. You guys know me, I'm going in with my e.l.f. primer. I love this. I feel like it's unmatched. I feel like when I don't use this or anything similar, you can like see the makeup settling. I only didn't use moisturizer and stuff because I literally did my skincare um, before I came back on camera. I'm going in with the Danessa Myricks Blur, why can I talk, Blurring Balm. This is in the shade 8.5. Just treating it as a foundation. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it. And I'm actually using a Kabuki brush. I really like this brush a lot, actually. So I'm gonna use the um, Serum Tint. I do have the foundation, which I showed you guys on TikTok. And I actually prefer the tint 
I just love the look of it. So I'm using this in the shade number 13. And the finish of this is actually just so pretty. I'm obsessed. Now I've been using it with this Kabuki brush. I haven't tried it with like my regular tools. I'm gonna do that next time. And I like to do like stippling motions too. It works. I'm going in with the um, Contour Balm in D2. Love her. Oh, it's also gonna add coverage as well. So this to me is adding coverage, especially under here. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to like talk and get through this. And then I've been liking doing my contour and blush before my concealer because it looks like all of that is like coming from within. You can get away with doing it messily. You guys know I'm like messy when I do makeup and then it all comes together like it's art. Have fun. Y'all and this blush, this is um Dancing Queen, almost a drama queen. This is Dancing Queen by Danessa Myricks. Oh my gosh. She is pigmented, but I don't mind it being like this because of how I did my makeup the last few days. Um, my concealer like tones it down so it looks like a blush from within. But this is like the black girl blush. Like I know we keep using like, which I still like, the bubblegum pinks and stuff, but like this, this is it. This is for us, okay? It can look clownish because you haven't done your concealer yet. I promise you, it's okay. For concealer, the new NYX, NYX, whatever you want to call it. Um, what is it called? Fix Stick Concealers. Uh, amazing. So I have Sienna as my first concealer. You guys know I'm a double concealer girl. So this one is like closer to my skin tone. And I just love how it blends. And then I'm going to do my nails after my makeup and we should be good in the hood. So now I'm going in with golden under the eyes, clearly brighter, but that's what we're going for. Oh, my nose started bleeding. I love when my makeup gets messed up, that's fabulous. I'm going in with the Givenchy powder in shade number five. I do really like this powder so far. You know, I've been using, um one size for so long it's a nice little switch up and then i'm going in with the fenty powder to lock everything in which is also going to give me more coverage pat mcgrath bronzer to lock that in and then i'm going in with this juvia's place in volume three i'm going in with this berry blush and i'm going over it because it literally is a powder version of danessa myrick's dancing queen I'm just gonna do something so quick on my eyes. It's just gonna be some browns. I just went into this Sassy Sienna's palette. See, blah, blah, blah. Sienna's palette from Dose of Colors. And I'm just kinda. All right, so boom, that's done. I think I wanna do a wing. I'm gonna do my brown wing. This is by Lancome. And I'm gonna do like a little half wing. Just a little something to give the eyes some depth. But I don't wanna do black because it's like. Now I'm gonna have to commit to it. And I'm not wearing lashes today because I'm just so comfortable with no lashes. I'm gonna use my YSL um, mascara. I actually do like her, she is cute. All right, time to dust this away. My face is pretty much done. I'm just gonna put on my lip last. Um, don't know what that is yet, but I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm gonna do one last spray. And I'm gonna do my nails and then I'll see y'all in a second. I'm gonna do these, the almond ones, cause that's what I wanted to do. Nails is done. I kind of like them, but you guys know I'm kind of weird about like fully colored nails, but like I love that my almondness is back. So I'm gonna do my lip and then put on my outfit. I actually have like 25 minutes to leave the house. So, you know, decent timing. This is um Natasha Denona's. La la. Honestly, I really just want to go in with the gloss, but my lip is still like bruised. So I'm going in with French Tea by Lancome. And then on top, I'm going to go in with NYX Fortune Cookie 
And as another look at the hair, make sure you guys check out Curls Queen. I'll leave everything down below, but the hair texture matches perfectly. So I'm not stressed about my leave out like, oh my God, da -da -da. no, it like looks good. And the hair has like this natural body to it. Oh, <gasps> it looks so good. Okay, so I'm about to get dressed and yeah. So before I show you guys my outfit, I'm gonna show you guys my fragrance and my accessories. I went with Alien Goddess and the original got Alien because I couldn't choose. Like this one smells good, when, but this packs a little punch, so I just did both. For earrings, I have on these Bottega dupes from Amazon in silver and my JBW watch crystal. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so now I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. All right, guys, so this isn't what I was gonna originally wear, but the time of the month, I need to be comfortable and I'm loaded. Okay, but I'm gonna be cute. So I have this top from Fashion Nova. These pants are from, I'm gonna leave it on the screen down below, Ecotour label. It's a black owned brand. And I would typically go with the pink bag, but I just needed a little something. I just wanted something different. So this is my outfit of the night. I got to go before I'm late because I said 8.30 and I'm at 8.30, so bye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to check the description box for all the deets and I will see you guys in my next one.